I decided to work with MSF in order to provide medical care to people who need them. Knowing that I'm saving lives drives me to give the best I can. This job is, it's not a job. It's a, it's a passion. It's something that you have to love doing. These are areas I've been trained in and I am really glad to offer my competencies and to give myself to serve. MSF uh, invested in Kenema because we have experienced the Ebola crisis, with the Lassa fever and also the uh, malnutrition. In this part of the country there is uh, so many malnourished children that need attention. Sierra Leone has some of the highest infant and maternal mortality rates in the world. During the Ebola outbreak in 2014 to 2016, Sierra Leone was hit the hardest out of all the three countries in West Africa. Ebola killed a lot of healthcare workers in the eastern part and Sierra Leone as a whole. So in this process, MSF decided to build this hospital to help strengthen the health sector by building the capacity of the healthcare workers and as well to help reduce the mortality rate of one of five children, pregnant women and lactating mothers. This is a completely MSF built hospital, uh, which means that we have to put in procedures from the ground up. Um, it also means that we are literally building the hospital from the ground up. I love this and I love being part of this. We are incorporating what they do there in our bedside teachings and the simulations we do. We need to provide the best quality nursing care that we are supposed to provide. We do what is right and not to do harm to the patient. But it's not easy at all uh, dealing with critically ill patients that is coming in. But we also do our best to ensure that uh, quality nursing care is being delivered to save the life of the child. We have experts coming in and coming out, impacting knowledge on us, helping us to provide the quality care. I am so happy being part of this. It's helping to build the capacity of the local staff. So that long after MSF is gone, they are still here. That's building sustainability structures. That's building resilience structures. And I love this. 